pedal shower we had this morning caused a couple of guys to stick their cars into the wall. So hopefully they got right so the skies are This man is ready to take on all challengers. He has a hard time finding another driver that fast. What's he gonna unleash today? You'll spot him in the What's he gonna unleash today? You'll spot him easy enough. He'll be the one out there swapping things. He is the dominant on this course. This guy right now. So this guy Nick Cooper has been coming out to a lot of peak performance races lately. He's been looking to build his rep around here. Can't wait to see more from him right here. Man, we got our own exotic car show going out there. I can't wait to see what they can do on the course. We've got the makings of some serious battles out there. Starter set, starter is set, cars are set.
Okay, as I was saying. Hey, hey, you guys over there. Yeah, you. Could you keep your hands off my car? Here's how I say it. Eden is not your friend. Never has been. He's using you for a bet he has carefully rigged in his favor over the last few months. On one hand, he has supported you all this time to gain your trust and it has clearly worked. He's given you everything you needed to know. He signed you up for events, helped you become the most promising rookie in racing history, and as a team, you managed to climb up the ladder like no other. And the audience loves you. Now you're a winner, and they're always rooting for you. On the other hand, he has been watching you. He knows every single detail about you. Your strengths, your weaknesses, your cars, your setups, everything. He knows better than anyone else what it would take to see you lose. And this is where his ingenious plan comes in. I think Eden will use your status as a crowd favorite against you. Nick is planning to challenge you to a duel. Your fans will bet millions on your win, while Eden will hold the other side of the bet. Since he knows all your weaknesses, he will know exactly how to beat you and to humiliate you in front of everyone. He never cared about you, Nick. All he cares about is getting his status back. He wants it all, your fame, your fortune, and he knows how to get it. In fact, he's never been just a PR guy. He owns the event, Nick. He owns it all. Eden's true role has been in front of our faces all this time and we were too arrogant to see it. You want my advice, Nick? Confront him. Meet him after your race at peak performance. You still have work to do after all. Alright, but I'm gonna have to go now. Your next move is up to you. Nick, good luck out there. Hey Nick, what's up? What's going on? What did you want to meet me for here? Whoa, what's going on man? Flex! Flex! Hey, 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 let's talk, let's talk! What, what is this? Let's just talk about this, okay? Chill. You found out, didn't you? Who told you? Kuru? You've come so far, Nick. We both did. I suppose after all you've done, the least I could tell you is the truth. So here goes. Yes, I've been spying on you all this time. Listen, Nick, I'm not just the PR guy or whatever it's called. I'm the manager of the whole event. You see, Kuru and I, we go way back, many years ago. We were both running the illegal street racing scene at the time, and I just didn't like the way he was running things. You know, the corruption and the lies, I just, I couldn't stand it, you know? And so, I helped a newcomer 
someone just like you, rise to the top and dethrone Kuru. And then everyone just kind of disbanded. And I was just left there with a lack of purpose. I just, I didn't know what to do with myself, you know? And so I decided to start something up, you know, basically make it professional. Yeah, and I built up uh, this, this whole festival, you know, built it up from the ground up. But things weren't always that easy, you know, building something up like that, it takes a huge amount of cash that I just didn't have at the time. And so yeah, I had to sell all these festival sites, you know, Chicago, Tokyo, Mondello Park. I had to sell all of that off to all these shady organizers we know today and everything I told you about them is the truth, Nick. And my hands were tight. I had no cash, no drivers, nothing. I was out of options. My hands were tight. So I had to look for another solution. And that's where you come in. That idea you've seen on TV all those all this time ago. That was so I could find new drivers. And eventually I found you. Remember back right here, it was right here, when I helped you fix that golf? I saw it in your eyes, Nick. I saw you wanted something. Recognition. I saw that flame in your eyes. And that's when I knew I found my driver. So here's how the plan would go. My plan was to build up a fan favorite. And then when the time was right, I would set up a duel between you and I. Everyone would bet on you, except for one person, myself. And since I documented every single little thing about you, I found every hole in your car setup, every little hole in your driving style, I would know exactly how to beat you. And I'd be the only person to know about that. Look, Nick, I'm, I'm sorry it had to come to this. I truly am. But I needed an exit strategy in case you couldn't beat them on your own. Well, I guess that's it then. I'll see you when the time comes. Goodbye, Nick.